Sam Schmitz. I'm a recent graduate from UW-Madison uh, with microbiology and French double major. I've been working at the McMahon lab since my freshman year. Uh, I pretty much helped them do the lake sampling. Our lab is actually running, uh, helps manage the time series. It's, I think it's over 10 years old now. So one of the instruments we do is collect the temperature and dissolve oxygen and stuff like that. We put in the computer. Um, so then we have like a huge data set with all the different temperature stuff over time. Uh, then we can actually, once we extract the DNA uh, from the samples, from the water sample, we can actually either sequence that or we can do other tests with it to be able to tell what bacteria are in there. And then we can actually pair up what bacteria are found with the temperature and other things like that. Uh, so the nutrients, and when nutrients fluctuate, we can kind of pair that up with different bacteria. So hopefully we can be able to figure out like what causes different bacteria to grow or decrease in the lake. One of our current things is trying to figure out how to reduce the amount of cyanobacteria in the lake, which cause the algae blooms. So hopefully in the future, Madison continues to reduce that in the water, because uh, a healthier, like temperate lake, like Mendota, is supposed to be clear, uh, clearer than it is right now.